with another episode of Let's Play PC Building Simulator 2. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. And when we last left off, we had done a bunch of work. We've got one job here pending. And uh, we were close, about to hit 25, which I am excited for, as that'll be kind of the turning point where we're going to start doing our big build-off uh, coming up. So let's get started, because it won't get done unless we do it. First of all, thank you for your work. Water cooling, the GPU and CPU is requested. I've already put them to good use, breaking down previously unknown gene genetic structures with the ultimate goal being genetic enhancement of certain cognitive abilities. We hope you have lab trial. We hope to have lab trials in process very soon. Unfortunately, we've hit a snag. The next phase of research relies on an older piece of software, which sadly has never programmed to take advantage of modern, which sadly was never programmed to take advantage of modern graphics cards. The maths involved is very complex and needless to say our initial test runs generated quite a bit of heat. We are happy with your previous work, so we'd like you to go ahead and install a motherboard water cooler. I'd also like red coolant, please. That's nothing scientific, it's just to match my tie. Let's put a customize. Uh, thanks in advance, Dr. Trip Carver, PhD, Genome Deconstruction Project. P.S. Assuming things go well, we will need a human test subject. Do you know anyone? Mm, cousin Tim? Uncle Tim? Fuck that guy. So let's go ahead and end the day. I should have ordered the parts. Oh well. Well, same day delivery, and it's not a big deal with anything else that we may need, may or may not need. Um. Okay. No build, so we don't need to worry about that. Right, let's put this in here. And he wants a water-cooled motherboard, so that's a Z390 Ace. So, home... Motherboard block. Z390 Ace. And then his... That's just all that's all he needs and the red coolant. So we got to, in a sense, reconnect all of this in a different way. But we got to get it all out. Which means he won't need that part anymore. Take that out. And then same day. Motherboard. Boom. Get this done. Nice. And then we kind of got to put all of his stuff back in here. And then the plumbing. <laughs> No, that's wrong. 
Uh, and red coolant. And then this guy will be done once we boot it up. Do its thing at this point. Luckily, these jobs aren't too difficult. Nice. Make a save. Nice, and it's just so close. All right. Customize. Apply themes to case. That jelly beans. Okay. Good day again. Thanks for the fix for that overheating problem. It he it's heaps better now. I was working flat out chasing after that lead on some primo meat yesterday, and I've got some good news and bad news. The good news is it. It is guaranteed ocean fresh. The bad news is I've got to go get the bloody thing myself. Was I planning on a fishing trip? But no worries. This if this meat's as fresh and dangerous as I think as I think it is, they'll give the crock pot center stage at Yumcon. While I'm while I'm away, see what you can do to jazz up the computer so it looks good for the crowds. Can you do some kind of food theme? Thanks, mate. Chef Boyd, the crock pot where food bites back. Blah 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 blah. Simple enough. No need to buy anything there. Upgrade. I need to upgrade my PC. I want to make sure my rig is fast as it can be. Uh, can you get it to benchmark 8926? I need 64 gigs of RAM. I need it done by Blue. I've seen those Iowa water coolers on the internet. I want one. Could you maybe paint my case pink? So that's paint. My PC has been loud lately. Can you do anything about that? Okie dokie. So that's a good start. So what does he need? 64 gigs of RAM and an AO and a cooler. So a CPU cooler. So that's a coffee lake, I think. Cabby Lake. So liquid cooler. Probably go with the cheapest one. Because his budget is three thousand. We don't really know what we're going to have to spend. We've got to upgrade his memory to 64, meaning these two are not fast enough. Though we got to check the motherboard. Oh, I can't. T it looks like it's only four sticks. Looks like there's room on this side, though, so I worry a little bit. But I wish there was a better picture. I wish it said how many memory slots there were, too. Um, so we'll go with the cheapest. Which will be this guy. 64 gigs of memory. What is he speed is he running? 3,000. His motherboard can run what though? Can run 3,600. So let's go to 3,600. And we'll do it cheapest. 8 gigs. We need 16 gigs. There's 16. Yes, and we need 14. We need four of those. And then we'll look at his Vigi card. Not multi GPU, it could be better. We have how much left over? We're at 985 on him, so out of 3,000. So let's just say we're at a thousand. We have 2,000 bucks to spend on a card. Oh, wait a minute, what's his power supply? 1,200. Okay, don't need to do that. Um, we have about 2,000.
technically we could go to that 2015 or 2005 um let's go with this guy okay that squares him away diagnose there's something wrong with my PC. Can you figure out what's wrong with it? I think it's something up with the PSU. It makes a funny noise. Maybe you can replace it. Okay, so we accept he needs a new power supply. So add that. Um, you do cable modding. Braided pink. He wants cables. And he wants fans. And for 500 bucks, there could be a couple things wrong. All right, so we got the parts, enough to get us started here. So let's do same day delivery. Because I want it done quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> but more importantly, let's grab some more pewter parts. And to think we'll level up in this game, I think, by the next day. So next day will be the last few cases that we buy computers for a while while we're building the machine, our newest machines. Um, and, yeah, I want to try to, before I even go through the effort of doing that, we're going to see how much stuff we need to mod. I'm not going to lie because we have a lot of stuff to, to mod. Um, and we'll figure out if it's really worth doing all that work, but we'll worry about it then. Some of our nicer PCs will we'll make sure get modded all the way. We'll do some interesting things. Probably do them first too, that way we can get them done and out of the way. Next. So scrunched in there, we got to take out the freaking fan in order to get this out. Probably a lot of the 22,000 series cards that are only singles are going to get put with medium skill performance machines, I think. We have a lot of shitty video cards that we're sitting on, too, so that's going to definitely go in the cheaper builds just so we can get them done. Because at the end of the day, you're making that mo your money off the parts with a little extra no matter what you do, so no point in putting a shitty com part in a moderate computer. 
Everything was ordered. Let's make it a brand new day. Pay rent, knock these three jobs out. That should put us at the coveted 25. And then we'll get started on some big rigs. But we're probably not going to build anything right away. More or less, what we'll probably do is start looking at modding parts. If the game decides to load the next day. Uh oh. And it crashed. <laughs> well, they just updated the game too today. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's thinking. Oh my god. Uh yeah, they just did an update. This is in December. Um well when we're playing this and yeah. Uh they just did an update. Um, but 1.1 update, so hopefully it doesn't fucking break anything that we've been doing. Jelly beans. Boom. Okay, that one's done. Right? Yeah. Okay, this guy is going to need to be tested as well, so we'll grab these two and get them in the, the shop. Okay, we're going to leave you. Oh, I didn't check what freaking processor he had in here i didn't think about that that might have been a something to think about um it's still a decent processor so it's, that's not going to be in our way too much but he does need a new cooler All right, for the gerb. So we can't put it on top, meaning it's going to go over here. Let's put in all that memory. Make sure the memory is running at good speed. <clears throat> what else did this jack off wanted? I think he wanted cables. Paint and fan. Paint the case pink. And he wants fans. Too loud. Okay. And we need 3D Mark and GPU. I put Cinebench on there, not the fan software. Damn it. Remove this and the fan. Let that run. All right. We got to diagnose the rest of this thing. So, first things foist, we got to replace the power supply.
Then we can start troubleshooting the rest of this thing. The fan runs a little warm. Whoop, no ram. Does that mean blow sticks are bad? Oh yeah, both sticks are bad, so let's put one of these back in. Still going. Before we get too far, this dude I think wanted cabling done. Rated pink and fan. So let's do the cabling first. Let's check the other one. Met the requirement. So he's he's almost done here. Gotta remove both of those. Lately braided paint cables. All of the rest should be done. He just needs to be painted pink. Did I actually remove the fan software? I don't think I did. Get it. Hard. Pink. save and then turn these guys in oh let's pay the rent get rid of that then noise everything's done we're not going to deal with these at the moment But we're going to accept them so we don't forget. We'll read these later. Because we have more important stuff to do, which is rig time. So let's exit out of that. Buy these four. And then we'll get started. Probably going to do mostly expense modding. Because if we buy the water cooling stuff for the cards, motherboards, and RAM kits that we have we will be squared away in a really great way. Um, we'll just shove memory where we can. We also may need to buy a few missing sticks. This is one of the times where I think investing 
in some of the computers is going to be paramount because we'll want that investment done just that way we can straight up kind of why can i not reach in there there we go we can straight up invest in some of these computers and get even more out of it per se by having completed sets of memory it's so weird how it just kind of hides back there i'll deal with that in a minute Crazy ass sized Le uh, Leon Lee cases, which I I have a soft spot for with the drive bays. I must say. This is going to be a weird case to have to work with. I probably won't use these for liquid cooled just because of how bizarre shape they are. I mean, theoretically, we could do it just to learn it, but we're also got a schedule to keep, you know? I still make good computers out of these, but I'm not going to go out of my way to try to water cool one if it's going to be a bastard to try to set up. It doesn't even look like you can put multiple cards in here very easily. You might be able to. It'd be an interesting experiment, but I'm not that eager to go about doing it at this exact moment. So let's see, let's think this through here. Now there's, like I said, there's a big set of processes here that we can do. Now what I want to do is limit, make one of these a water cool bench just because we're going to be dealing with a lot of cooling. All right. And then let's go through our inventories here and get rid of everything that's broken. That's a shame too. That was some scrolling down a wee bit just to see. Oh my god. Well, one, two, three, four. Or wait a minute, no. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
290 grades. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two. Yeah, we're going to be making some weird shit. Um, that's faulty. Anything else? Yeah, just the faulty one. All right. So, now let's go into here. How many of these do we actually have? Oh, my God. Um, and not all of these are multiples. In the high end, we've got these that can only do two. So, 3090 Gaming X Trio 240s. So, if we go to water cooling. Trio Gaming. They're the same price, they're the same card. We want two of those. Two of those. 3090XC3. So then we'll put in 3090XC3. Thirty ninety XC three Ultra Gaming, so Ultra Gaming, and then a thirty eighty XC three. So a thirty ninety and a thirty eighty. So we need the thirty ninety. Ultra Gaming. I think it's this one. Oh, it's for both. So we'll just get two of these. See how much this starts to add up before we commit to it, too. Um, low to high. So we got these two. Then we need a 3080 for the win. And then what else do we got? These these ones here I may not water cool, but definitely the 3080s we want to do. RTX 3080. And it's, oh shit, which one? I think it's this one. Nvidia GeForce. Yeah, it's this one here. We'll grab that. Okay, so all of that is done. Oh, wait a minute, we're looking at, I'm looking at the wrong ones here. So any that can be multi-GPU do we want to do? And that we have multiples of. So we don't have multiples of any of these guys. So we'll come back to these later. This one as well. These three we will do. Because these three we can do a triple. So GPU is two. So actually we'll only do two. We can only do two. Um so shit, what was that? G RTX 2070 Super 8G. Uh, double check it. Aorus G GeForce RTX 2070. There is suit. Is it the Super Series? It must be for the 2070. So, some all we can do with that. All right. A 
and then we clearly need one, two, three, four, five, six of the founders. So let's go to TI found founders editions. Yeah. There we go. All right. Ram heat sinks. We need to see how many sets of Ram we can do. So here's one set. Two sets, three sets, four sets, five sets, six sets, seven sets, eight sets. Nine sets, ten sets, eleven sets, twelve sets, thirteen sets, fourteen sets, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, mm -mm. 25, 26, 27, 29 and then we'll do 29 yeah we'll do 29 maybe I'll grab grab one more just in case but Twenty-nine. So we've only spent about five thousand dollars. Um, and we'll just add some do do doubles in there because I saw some nice memory sticks in the double department. So we'll add. Plus another 10 of these. Now, motherboard blocks. Oh boy. One, two, three. There's not many in here, strangely enough. So, we have one, two, three Wi Fi's. So, which one's the wife? Three Wi Fi's. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold your horses here. I think I put the wrong ones in there. Let's start over. Let's just do it from left to right. Z690. Z390, I think it's this one.
NZXT Z690. So it's it's this guy here. One of those. X570 Wi-Fi gigabyte. X570 Wi-Fi. Yeah. Three of those. <clears throat> Three of those. Two Z390 Aces. I wish it would just stay here. The 570 Aros Master gig, the X570 Aros Master. Z nine six six ninety Unify X. There it is Z six ninety Unify X. So two more of those. Okay, cool. We're not done yet. We need some pump reservoirs. We're gonna go with some of these. We might want to go on a bigger one, or we go at the these RGB ones. Um, but let's go, let's keep it simple, I say. We go with the big ones, it'll, it'll be very finicky what cases they fit in. These three $400 ones. So let's go with, like, maybe 10 of these. And then with the radiators, we're going to go big. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't know how many of these are. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll go with 10 of these. We'll, go, we'll get nice three-bladed ones. They give us the 160. So. This one here. All right. Same day delivery. And let's get started. Or are we out of time? Oh. Well, the one thing for sure. Ooh, glitched it out a bit. There we go. Well, let's get started with. Uh, we'll start with the memory blocks, I think, because that way. Start from the very back, because, because this has got to be sorted out. Um. Before matching sticks, we'll do some of this. Definitely try to do the RAM. Yeah, we got to do all this prep. But you know what? This is the one time we're going to do it because after we do it, we'll know if it's worth it or not. This I might actually honestly do a jump around. There'd be a lot here to do. All right, that's done. Uh, the 56, I think we got some twofers, so let's do some twofers. For the nicest RAM that we have. We have like 10 twofers that we can do. So we will do it to the best RAM that we have on us. We're still probably not done purchasing more liquid cooling. But for right now, we have enough to get us started.
So we can do a two of this. Question actually that we should wonder is can we do two sticks water cooled and one stick not? Though it kind of defeats the purpose, right? But what it does do is it saves us room for another card. Some memory for the middle ones that are pretty good if we have good boards lying around that could use the faster speeds, right? It's kind of the point. Um, low to high memory, low to high. Yeah. Okay, so those two are by themselves, but then we get these 56ers. There's only three of these. Thought there were four, I guess not. Or I miscounted. That's fine. Wish there was like a faster way to. Oh, did it not finish? Finish. Son of a bitch. Gotta be more careful. So. And I think for performance, we definitely want to use a two-stick setup for performance purposes. That's a twofer, that's a twofer, and those are twofers, twofers. It's a while before we get to threefers, huh? Fourfers, rather. But that's okay. That's why we bought the twos while we were there, because we do want our best memory to be water coolable. Even if we can't do the processors, the motherboard water cooling. Because reasons. I think just because of the board format formats, there's going to be some we just can't do it to. Like the four T1070 TIs are probably not going to be full water cooled because I don't know if there might be some boards that just cannot take four cards and that we water cool too. So we may not have access to them yet. So until we get access to them, there's no point in, you know, prepping or worrying about it because we just don't know how many we can do here. Yeah, I think I am going to take a liberty, because I do know we did a, a prepping last show. So what I'll probably do... I might just do the memory separately. Nah, you know, you guys should see everything that I do. We'll make this the big, you know, the big sell-off. You guys watching me make all of this shit. You know. Because of those of you who aren't interested, just wait till the next episodes come out. Where I'm not doing this stuff. But for those of you who are curious... To see if they made all these sticks look different on the inside. Well, you're in for a treat. And there's the next four stick one there. So we'll keep going with our two. Oh, wait. Can I do four sticks? That doesn't, that doesn't seem right. Hold on. Twenty six sixty six. They must be getting it from somewhere else. Oh, those are new versus old. Okay, that fine. Yeah, we'll do four sticks, used and new sticks. Somehow we ended up with new sticks. Probably an accidental purchase. Depending on how much money we have left over, will dictate whether or not I water cool the rest of the cards that we have in stock. might have to buy a couple more of these that's okay we'll do that with when we do cards
Probably gonna have to buy new more twofers as well. But again, we can't we can't liquid cool everything. We need stuff for the regular computers too. And the low tier stuff. Once we hit under four thousand speed, I think that's when we'll not worry about the twos. We'll we'll use the rest of the twos that we have on us and then be done with it. So I'm sure we have enough that we could water cool a lot of this. We're almost out of it anyway. We have 3,600 already, but I'd rather do these 5,600s. Yeah, just do these two. Somehow they're worth more, even though the speed is slower. Memory's kind of looking the same. Except the shell, the little encasement that it, that we put on it. We got about three more twofers anyway, so not gonna matter soon. Fifty six hundreds will be good. Yeah, I regret putting that on the. Uh, 3600s when there's probably 40s, thousands, and 30,000s that need it. 40, 40, 50 thousands that could benefit from the water cooling. And again, it all comes down to do you have the motherboard to warrant this? You know, so this could all be for naught, but you know, we're doing it anyway. And again, if we gotta buy one stick here or there, it's not a big deal. That won't be a big deal. 3,600, I don't really want to do it to those. 32. 32. Okay, so I don't see anything lower than 3,032. So let's, let's use the rest of our twofers. Maybe here and here. And then we're done. In the future, I will only do it for things that are 5,200 or higher. Or over 4,000, rather. But I'm sure we have enough liquid cooling that we can do. And we don't have to do motherboards, mind you. These can We could buy CPU heat sinks standard and do it that way. But definitely we want... Oh, shoot. My guys can't take me anywhere. But yeah, we could do the motherboard heat sinks, not motherboards, wa uh, water cooling, but like just the processor. There's so many different ways we can achieve what we need to achieve. We have some of that on us anyway, so we might have like six coolers on us. And we'll just buy a few extras. They're really cheap. One more set of the two fur, and then we're on to the um the fours And that's the last of the two furs we can do. All right. So now we're into the fours. We're going to go from most expensive and work our way back. Three. There's a four.
Put those in. Heat sink four block done. Next. That also, I guess it helps that you guys watch me do this because then you get to see the actual memory that we're working with here. I think we got eight of these, but some of these are going to be awesome. We might even keep one of the nicest rigs for ourselves just to get see if we get an achievement. And then eventually sell it later. Theoretically, we could use our main desktop as a workspace. Not going to do that, though. We did that in PC Building Simulator 1, where we, we would try to make that happen. And uh, it was a neat little thing to fun, fool around with, but it was ultimately not, not hyper necessary. Okay. I don't, we'll even have like a two stick one left over. But again, we do need some of those, so. We hopefully don't knock ourselves down to 10 to uh, under 20 grand by the little purchases we're going to have to do off and on. We're going to start with our ultra builds once we water cool the shit out of everything. Set up all of these parts for us. Um, because then we're going to definitely go all out on a couple of computers. See what we can get away with for water cooling computers. We're not going to... And then we'll maybe make one spot on the desk so we can do, like, testing. Should do high to low now. Here's a here's a four stick, buddy. We're not going to do it based on part rating price either. It's going to be based on real assembly techniques. We're not just going to put like water cooled 5000 stick bit ram sticks at a computer that can't handle the the, the benefit the beneficial speed cuz we're going to overclock it it would be more beneficial to put in what actually works because we might end up getting a similar amount of money if not the same you know and some of you might argue well you don't shouldn't you get the most bang for your buck per, per computer and there's yeah there's debate to that i think that would be mechanically flawed in a game like this personally now we've got, let me see if it'll let me do, okay, it won't. Okay, so that's interesting. It won't let us do the mix and match, even though those are technically the same cards, just different RGB. It won't let us do it. But we have, what, one, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And then we can mix and match the other leftover ones. I think there's three. There'll be those two white ones and maybe one or two red ones. to do one two three four oh my god how many of these do we have clearly more than i thought we did somebody's getting fucking a complete set now here's the other thing too because we're not level 30 we may not have access to the best water cooling boards 
Right, so that's something to consider as we progress through the game. We'll get access to more upon more stuff that will be overpowered as fuck. So, that is something to keep in mind. Um, we'll put that, we'll do that. And this is a good place for us to stop in right now. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Jack Tar Studios for more live gaming action. Because when we come back, yes, we are going to hopefully in that episode finish the assembly of all of the water cooling stuff. And if we have time left, we're going to go right into hardcore building some big rigs. So thanks for stopping by, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.